All right, everyone, it is finally here. We have the collab update. I'm going to go through all the update notes here. I got to put myself at the bottom right corner this time because we got a lot of information to go through, presumably today, which hopefully will give us a lot of exciting stuff. But I've heard that this is going to be a four week event. Of course, we're going to see the first couple of, I guess you say, events right now. They mentioned a story chapter type thing, kind of like a rise of heroes. They mentioned a shop, a pass, a few other things. So hopefully this is going to be good, some good stuff because we've been waiting for this for about a month at this point. So let's see. First off, the new faction. We saw this in the Facebook pre-announcements, the time traveler faction. We can use our gene forms from other factions to evolve them. Okay. I actually didn't even think about that, but not surprised that that's going to be the case you can dispatch time travel heroes to finish all missions in the outpost cool also something that's not super relevant i don't think and then we have the two new characters we have kusanagi um, which is going to be uh, a character who can teleport behind enemies critical damage to surrounding enemies and be immune to control effects pretty interesting uh during the collab event her energy recovery speed will also increase interesting so this might just be something to entice newer players to get her because she might be like, oh, if you get her, she's going to be a really nice boost to the collab events. Or maybe it's some sort of competition like Endless Battle. But this having some sort of bonus also slightly worries me because is it going to be difficult to the point where you want that? I'm not sure. A new hero, Batu. This is the free one. Uh, we have a Vanguard character who could stun enemies, rocket charge into battle, um, and enter invisibility. Interesting, but also uh, I'm not 100% convinced about the Vanguard characters. We'll see if they have a place in the game. PvP is generally the place where people consider Vanguard characters. Not sure if it's going to be good right now. New collab recruitment event. During the event, you can recruit Kusanagi, Bato, Serena, Taylor, and Artis at higher rates at the collab recruitment. Okay, so this is the collab recruitment event which is what we've been kind of teased about. It's going to last for 14 days. What's important about this is that they've already announced two other collab units and they are not in this. So either they're going to be somewhere down here or they're going to be a second collab recruitment event on the second uh, week uh, of this event. So after the 14 days, I guess I should say the third week, we're going to get a secondary collab recruitment event, most likely. A new limited recruitment event. So that implies that we're not going to be using our limited cards. During the event, we can recruit Reseris, Nafang, and Botmark 2. Pretty good one. A lot of people are going to want Reseris. She is one of the better hunters. Um, and a new Star Echo event. During the event, you will receive a corresponding rewards by recruiting a certain amount of times in the designated collab recruitment. The main rewards are Soul Incursion, Triple S, a hero card of your choice, Mythic Runes, Universal Crystals, G Mutation Crystal 2s, and astral recruitment cards this is interesting as i said um i think that the collab recruitment this implies that we're not going to be using our limited cards i'm not 100 sure about that hopefully they'll mention something down here interesting that we're going to get some free mythic runes universal crystals you know triple s hyper evolution potential or just astral recruitment cards these are good rewards okay and uh that's a boating pretty good for the collab event because rewards are one of the main things that people are concerned about a new details gathering event a new gamuzo's bell these things are pretty classic new premium development and a new ghost in the shallow collaboration event soul incursion will be open on all servers fantastic not sure um what specifically that means i guess it means whatever this is going to be said uh, right here first off it's going to be for a full month long so until October 26th which means that yeah we're probably going to get the other two triple s's in that collab recruitment event after we get Bato and Kusanagi so if you're curious the other one was a tank and a support the support looked interesting I would say that the two ex most exciting ones for me right off the bat if you're going to jump into this event and immediately summon for it tomorrow well Kusanagi is probably the most exciting and then the support uh Purin parent I think <laughs> I forget her name uh, I think that one was the support and she seemed to be the second most exciting one on the first day of the event we're gonna have chapter one and two open open on the eighth day event we're gonna have chapter three 
and you can get collab hero bot two for free after finishing chapter two cool so after the first week essentially we're going to open the last chapter of the story challenge they also added a new nightmare a world boss site dash nightmare you'll work together with players from different servers to challenge which has three stages after stage is defeated it will transform into the next stage they'll face more challenging battles each challenge stage will activate a new server-wide buff to gain an advantage in the battle the event will record your contributions and give out generous rewards okay so sort of like endless battle i would say except instead of fighting like different stages you're fighting a boss and the fact that we have multiple servers and it's like a group event well i don't know if that's a good thing i guess it is a good thing in general because you'll probably be able to get the rewards regardless so that's nice but you know i mean a new chapter event this is going to be like rise of heroes it looks like and then a new boss if the rewards are good they're good but not something like super insanely exciting i would say then we have a game content adjustment i don't know if this is anything new but they have optimized the equipment system they added a switch to the disassemble equipment function of batch disassemble new options to automatically disassemble added an option automatically disassemble legendary equipments according to its equipment rating the level cap of mythic commanders has been extended to level 100. wow okay so that's kind of insane um <laughs> So new levels from 51 to 100, no new attribute slots, but you're going to get a ton of additional stats and you'll get, oh, you'll require a ton of mythic commanders and gold coins. Wow. Okay. So is this a good thing? Probably I would say if I look at my command post right now and I look through like all the dupes I have, yeah, I could probably get quite a few upgrades just because I have a bunch of dupes sitting around and I don't plan on ever like, you know, re upgrading a new commander because I just would rather reroll it because I have the hourglasses anyways. So I would say for most people, this is just a straight up buff to your PVE content. Obviously, if you're a PvP -er and you're interested in that, then this is kind of a nerf if you're free to play because the whales are going to get to level 100 quicker than you are. And I don't think that most people are going to be able to get to level 100 as soon as it activates. Just to show you all, like if I were to go through and look at, I don't know, um, let's just go for Enlighten, right? Okay, I have one level 50, right? Uh, with some decent stats here for summons and such. And then I have 19 additional Enlightens, right? So if it's the same then i might be able to get up to like level 60 if it's the same promotion materials i should say uh, I, I might be able to get to level 60. so yeah these are going to be some massive improvements for your teams and are going to take some time to kind of grind through honestly that arguably is some of the more exciting things about this update uh we'll have to see how what this collab recruitment event looks like and the new um star echo event and all the new stuff right we'll have to see what it's like inside the game i would say i'll definitely be doing a video tomorrow as soon as this update drops which is usually like 3 a.m my time I mean, this dropped at 207 a.m uh so like 40 minutes ago for me and uh, uh we'll see what this is like i'm very curious to see what this collab recruitment event was going to look like and the story challenge and the world boss you know i want to see what the rewards are really like you know because these events typically in the past have been extremely valuable for free to play players and if it is then good on them i will say i'm not particularly excited about the new characters not as like a personal enjoyer of them right i i i did think that you know kusanagi and bato really were like oh man i gotta summon for these characters like if they put i don't know uh Geralt, uh or like I don't know some assassin's creed collab like afk arena did then maybe i would have been like oh i gotta get these characters but ghost in the shell it's not my personal thing some people are gonna love it and some people are not gonna care at all so it really matters i think in general for the rewards and whether or not those are gonna be worthwhile to log in and acquire so let me know what you all think i think this is overall Kind of what we expected based on what we saw 
um i don't know if the world boss is going to be worthwhile building for or anything like that i don't think it's gonna be very complicated especially what they said it's probably going to be like an endless battle ranking system and you're probably not going to get anywhere near close to top 50 top 100 uh potentially if it's a global ranking system therefore well do you really care about getting to the top probably not maybe you might be able to with some really really good gear and some you know mortal fives but you're going to be competing against all the whales i imagine so i don't think this really changes much uh, in terms of trying to grind out for it obviously you want to build a good team so you can get the rewards but you might just get the rewards anyway so we'll have to see overall good overall excited but not like insanely excited which is what i was hoping the collab event would do for me so let me know what you all think let me know if you're underwhelmed if you are excited for it tomorrow i know it is very split for people who enjoy the ghost in the shell and well i might be on the side that is not necessarily ecstatic but looking forward to it so i'll be back tomorrow with another update be sure to tune in if you guys are curious to see and watch me mess up if i go ahead and summon for something and and it ends up not working or uh it's not the right thing to do well i'll be testing all that tomorrow so see you then